So, quick video on what you need to do if you want to run Ethernet throughout your home. Because if we get it, Wi-Fi will not fill the gap of low latency, ultra gigabit Ethernet. The problem is, it's easier if you have an attic or a basement, but this is a two-bedroom condo. We don't have that luxury. So, this is not really a tutorial video, but just a proof of concept. Two ways that I did to run Ethernet is through the baseboards and through crown molding. So, basically I have Fios. Um, fiber comes up through the water heater room there, so I ran it through there. Uh, fiber optic cable, there's another video covering that. I ran to other Ethernet for the bedroom. It all goes here to uh, a closet there for the uh, home office. And then, you know, the return is a two Ethernet to the bedroom. But yeah, so the ONT is there. Um, and rather than ripping up drywall, I just put crown molding and calling it a day. Um, on top of that, I wanted to run Ethernet here, and there's already so many cables up there. Funny thing, I have an uh, extra cable for a ring camera and another for a unified access point. I use a magnet pulling system. I'll cover that in another video, but, but yeah, so, but here, there's already enough cables. I was gonna run two, but I, you know, I'm selling, so I didn't want to go too crazy. Um, you know, if you really want to run more than one, I mean, it bulges a bit, but you really don't notice it. It's not a big deal. Um, you could get like a channel grinder here, one of those. Um, I forgot the tool. I'll put it like a. I'll put the name of it, but it can make a, like a small little channel run cables <clears throat> behind here. And so yeah, the Ethernet's going from here all the way. This is already for a coax plate. I just kind of crimp a little uh, keystone jack there. Gonna go all the way to here. So basically I, you know, the previous flooring I was gonna swap it out anyway. So I put this nicer um, luxury vinyl flooring here and I didn't want to use quarter round. So I thought, let me rip up the baseboards, double whammy. I can run the ethernet through here. And obviously some of it might be a little, it might not fit because I tried to put it close enough. I mean, it wasn't perfect, so it stuck out a bit, and so it may kind of bulge out on the bottom, but, you know, wasn't a big deal. Ran it to here, I drilled through here, and I used the, here's what I got. I have a, I spent like 150 on this magnet pulling kit, uh, but, you know, that's still a cool thing. There's a strong magnet, but you've also got these tools here for this little magnetic roller and this chain, so I used it to pull cables through here. I mean, it's more intended for like big TV wall mounts like this, but uh, but yeah, so I just did that instead. And um, I was able to pull cable from, from there to there. And so the crown one is gonna go up. Um, I'm still debating whether I'm gonna even put it up or just not do it at all. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I have never seen anyone do this, a video on this before. I'm not even gonna show you how to, cause there's, there's better ways of showing you how to rip out these baseboards and stuff. I just, you know, I took a baseboard puller. I was very careful to rip it out um, gently, you know, little by little. I used um, bolt cutters to remove the existing nails, repainted these baseboards, and, uh, you know, I've got this DeWalt stapler. I freaking love these things. So it uses the same uh, 20 volt batteries to staple um, brad nailers. So it was just a simple little thing to, you know, reattach these things. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not showing you how to do these baseboards or crown molding because there's way out, there's better videos out there, but this is just a proof of concept. Um, let me show you here, actually, we're in the, still got to paint this room, but this is the finished product. Two ethernet cables there and a coax, you know, key keystone jacks are really, really nice. And it all goes to the centralized location right here so you've got the fios router there the ont and all the way back there i've got i guess you can't see yeah you can probably kind of see it there so i've got to add two more jacks for for the living room but yeah let me know what you guys think like comment subscribe